Take a look at this cool Supra. Um, I have especially have been admiring the wheels because every time I see these, they're a little bit more modern than the five-spoke muscle car or Krager style wheels that I like to do. And uh, you got a pretty cool little seven-spoke here. And every time I see this, I just think Boolean, right? So I thought I would open up a Libre and make an imitation of that wheel. And this has been made only with Booleans and fillets. And this is the pro license of the Libre. Boolean is uh, available with the pro license. I'd like to go through and show how the Boolean works. I think it's pretty handy and easy to use. So why don't we get started? Um, you can download the parts that I've made from GrabCAD. All right, so here I am and I've, I've opened up this uh, document here. In fact, let me do a quick save as. All right, so here I am in a document called Starting Part. If you wish to follow along, take the link in the description to GrabCAD. You can download this and follow along. Here I have two sketches, right? I have one sketch that is looking like the wheel, and I can show this under View. We'll uh, toggle References, and I'll show my sketches. Then I have another sketch here that is kind of this side profile. And what I'll do is... Let's extrude this wheel sketch, right? So I'm going to highlight sketch one, model, extrude, and we'll go mid-plane, say, a total of a 10, bam, right? So that's pretty easy. Then we'll highlight this sketch. Actually, before I do, let's do a quick save as. I'm going to save this as a body. This is not necessary to do in a Libre, but for my own personal organization so that you can download this stuff and follow along make it easier for that. I'll just call this extrude. So now I have my sketch 2 here and let's do a revolve and I can choose my revolve axis here and now you can kind of see we've revolved in there. I can delete my extrude and let's do another save as. I'll call this Revolve. Excellent. So let's build a wheel. And the first thing I want to do is, um, a, well, a Boolean. And this Libre is not like FreeCAD or SolidWorks. It has a different approach um, to Booleans, and it gives you all the same features, just in a slightly different way. Uh, instead of having multiple bodies in the part environment, Libra has its own kind of environment for multi-body modeling. Uh, this would be like a Boolean environment, very, very similar to the assembly environment. And that's where you introduce multiple bodies. So up here I go and I have a Boolean um, intersect option and that's what I want to do. I want to intersect two bodies and I'm going to choose my extrude body and now it takes me, you'll notice my environment has changed to what would look like the boolean tab up here and again it has very similar options to assemblies. I'm going to click to place one body and finish and now I simply use um, you know mates or constraints, I think it's called in the in the Libre platform. I'll use constraints to position one body relative to another. So in, in this case, um, I have this circle, and I'll use this axis to make sure that these are cocentric. And then I can choose this edge and this plane and we'll choose an offset distance, and I can go something like negative five to make these centered. Perfect. All right, so I've got one body co-centric with another body, and they're sitting in each other pretty well. I have this position the way that I want. So I'm gonna click this green check, which means commit. And we've just intersected these bodies to create a wheel. Pretty cool. Uh, now there are some other options that I'll go through with uh, booleans. Next, maybe I want to cut out some space for lug nuts. Because uh, right now, you know, trying to screw 
a lug nut onto that isn't very good. So I've got a generic um, Boolean option. And of course, you can use your regular cut revolves or whatnot, but then I wouldn't have an example to show for Booleans. So let's go to a Boolean subtract, right, where we subtract one body from another. And I've got this part called lug nuts to represent kind of the negative of a lug nut. I'm going to import one. And let's go with a uh, new constraint. I'll choose this outer face here. And um, yeah, one of these faces in here. And we'll reverse this direction and say OK. Now I can take this bottom face of my part and make it coincident right onto this plane. So we're positioned correctly, right? And uh, I'm pretty satisfied with that. And so naturally, I could just keep on adding bodies to these holes, but there's an easier way to do it. So I, you have both an array pattern and a circular pattern in a Libre. So I'm going to choose circular pattern, and just like a regular old circular pattern, I can say I want to do five instances. I'll choose my center as this axis here. I'll say OK, and now I've got five parts. So the question is, what are we subtracting from what? Because I want to subtract these bodies from my wheel and not my wheel from these bodies. So the, the parts that you subtract are the parts that you add, right? I added these bodies in, and so these are the ones that are going to be subtracted. That seems to be the nomenclature that uh, Libre seems to handle it. Uh, that looks good. You have component patterns that make life easy and fast. Next, maybe I want to combine some bodies, right? What if you had uh, a, a balancing weight that you wanted to make part of the wheel? Now, that's probably more appropriate for an assembly item instead of a Boolean, but I want to have some kind of part that'll combine. So I chose a balancing weight. So we're going to go to uh, Boolean Unite, where we combine two bodies into one. And we're going to go with weights and finish, right? So we're back in our Boolean environment. Looks like I accidentally added two weights, so I'm going to get rid of one with the delete key. Highlight this face, hold shift and highlight this face. We're going to say new constraint, and it already knows that we kind of want to go with a uh, cocentric. So I'm going to say OK on that. We'll choose this face and this plane. And it knows that we want to relate those. I'm going to choose offset with that and say negative 1.5 on that. Now, clearly, my negative 1.5 is wrong. So if I ever need to edit a dimension, we come over here into our tree, and I can find my um, offset. And I'll choose Edit. And now I can reverse my offset. And that looks a little bit better, right? So let's say I'm happy with that position. I'll close this uh, box. And one thing to note, it's probably not even something that is viewable. But as you can see, I'm going, I'm, um, going into one body just a little bit. Sometimes that might be necessary. Uh, so... Keep that in mind. I'm going to say yes. So if you have unpredictable behavior when you do a Boolean, maybe you need a slight overlap. But as you can tell, this is uh, behaving just like a single body would, right? I can fill it, it just as I would fill it in normal body. So I know that that combine is looking pretty good. So we've got our balancing weights. We've done an intersect. We've done a subtract and a combine. So those are the basic functions in Libre Booleans. Um, I hope that was helpful. If it was, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.